Our barbell bomb squat is a great strength move primarily for our quads. It is also working our hamstrings, glutes, calves, core, and back as well to a lesser degree, primarily focusing on the front of the legs. If you do not have access to a barbell, you're welcome to do a dumbbell bomb squat. You can go watch our dumbbell bomb squat video. The only difference is going to be positioning of the weight. We're using a barbell here up on our back, whereas in that dumbbell version, we're using a weight against the chest. If you are not comfortable performing barbell squats, normal barbell squats, I definitely would recommend you watching that video first and getting comfortable with those before performing bomb squats with that barbell. The only difference between a bomb squat with the barbell and a normal back squat with the barbell is gonna be our foot positioning and our range of motion. So those are gonna be the differences here. So if you're not comfortable performing normal squats, I'd recommend, like I said, going and watching our normal back squat or barbell squat video because it gets a little bit more in depth on your form that you're gonna be using in this exercise. So, Going over the basics though of a bomb squat, make sure first off that those J hooks in that rack are raised up to where the bar is approximately just over chest height, around sternum height here, so that you're able to comfortably lift it off and put it back in those J hooks without having to get down too low in that squat or come up on the toes to get it back off. Then you're gonna grab that bar just on the outside of shoulder width. You can be a little wider or a little closer together with your grip, depending on the flexibility or range of motion in your shoulders. You're then gonna come up underneath of the bar and squeeze the shoulder blades together to create a rack for that weight. We don't want it resting up on the neck. We don't want it resting on the spine. We want it resting on the muscles of the upper back and the shoulders. So come up underneath, squeeze those shoulder blades together, you can move around a little bit if you need to to find the right spot. Bring those feet both up underneath of those shoulders in that squat position to lift it off. Walk on back out of the rack. And then we're gonna get in that bomb squat position. That's where we're creating that little V with the feet. Those heels are slightly together, maybe two to four inches apart. And then those toes are around six to eight inches apart, making that little V. We're then gonna keep that chest up, keep our good posture as we get down nice and low in that squat, pushing those hips back. We're then gonna come up about three quarters of the way, keeping that slight bend in those legs, and then drop right back into that squat again. Keep that chest up and keep that back straight throughout this entire movement. When you're done, come all the way up, walk all the way forward, lean in against those J-hooks so that you're pressing against them, and then lower the weight down into the hooks. Main thing I say that is, you wanna make sure that you never miss these. So come all the way in and lean against that rack so that you know you're in that hook before dropping it down. A lot of times I'll see people come in and they'll kind of look over and try to put one on and then the other one on. I've seen more times than I want to admit people missing the hooks doing it that way. Don't do it that way. The hooks are made for coming in, leaning in against that rack, and then dropping on down. So foot positioning, remember for these ones, heels are gonna be fairly close in with toes slightly pointed out, making that little V, and then your posture, you wanna keep that good posture. So hips back, back nice and straight, chest up, getting down as low as you can, just coming up three quarters of the way. We're not coming all the way up. We're keeping the tension on the quads as we come up three quarters of the way and then dropping back down nice and low into that squat. Start off light. This is going to be an exercise that you're going to want a lot lighter weight than you would do on a normal squat. Bomb squats are typically a little tougher. So go down in weight, get comfortable with that movement, and then you can start to build back up to a challenging weight for those quads. 